Well, I don't know about you, but after all the holiday shopping, it's particularly for Christmas with my family, my, yep. my pockets are suffering. Oh, yeah. It, I, I feel it too. <laughs> well, if your funds are looking a little low, don't worry. You can still meet your financial goals. That's right. And financial go goals are often made at the start of the new year. And News for Jack's anchor, Alicia Booth, spoke with a financial expert about some easy ways to save big this year. We are definitely feeling the effects of inflation as we head into this new year. November's Consumer Price Index inflation report showed a 6.8% rise on overall prices. That's the highest increase since 1982. The most substantial increases were seen for things we rely on every day, like gas, rent, food, and vehicles. These rising prices, along with continued uncertainty with the pandemic, make doing a personal budget checkup in 2022 even more important. Ashley Robinson, Community Relations Manager from First Florida Credit Union, joins us now with some tips on financial planning for the new year. Good morning to you, Ashley. Good morning. Well, we all know from experience that budgeting can just be so overwhelming. What is the best place to start? It is overwhelming for many people. Um, and really, when it comes to getting started, whether you're um, starting for the first time or just updating a budget, uh, you really want to take a look at your expenses. That's a great place to begin. And when it comes to expenses, there are three main categories that we're going to look at and identify to help us uh, get our budget started. Those are your fixed expenses, the ones that stay the same every single month, your mortgage, your rent, phone and internet bills, car payments, things of that nature. Then you have your periodic expenses. Now, when you're budgeting, these are the ones that get left out the most. So you don't want to leave these out. They happen once a year, maybe twice a year, like your vehicle registration. And then, of course, you have your variable expenses, uh, which change and fluctuate every month based on your consumption. So um, maybe it's your uh, heating or your light bill, food, going out, entertainment kind of things like that. So those are your expenses. You want to identify those, figure out what those are to help you get set up on a budget for the new year. Okay, so what are the number one things, the number one thing that you find that people have to 86 from their budget? Everybody's got right. something. <laughs> Most people tend to think that it's those variable expenses, like eating out. Oh, I'm not going to eat out this month. I need to save money or can't afford that Starbucks coffee because I need to trim some money for my budget. But in reality, you really want to look at those fixed expenses, the ones that stay the same from month to month if you're going to trim some money from your budget because by finding a new phone plan or refinancing your auto loan to get a lower payment, you're going to be saving every single month of the year, not just that one time that you were um, able to gather the willpower to say, nope, I'm not going to buy that extra thing. Um, so really you want to look at those fixed monthly expenses as the best place to trim a little extra from your budget, put a little more money in your wallet. So maybe even something like mowing your own lawn instead of paying someone else to do it. Sure, that's a great option because those lawn services can be pr rather pricey. Uh, again, maybe refinancing an auto loan, getting that lower monthly payment. Shopping out new insurance is another great option as well, lowering those monthly premiums. Is this a good time to refinance? It sure is. The rates are still low in uh, the market comparatively. And so if you have a rate above what the industry standard is right now, or if you've improved your credit uh, since the time you got your original loan, those are all great reasons and great opportunities to refinance for a lower payment. Also a good time to check your credit. And then also if you lower your debt ratio, there, your credit will probably go up. Oh, you're absolutely right. And we always recommend that you check your credit annually just to make sure that everything looks correct, is accurate, there's no fraud, um, and to see how you're doing. You know, always do that check in. All right. Well, that is uh, fantastic ways to do it. Now, what about saving? Can you give us a little? You see, I'm struggling to find ways to save money. Can you think of anything else that might be a good thing to, to cut out that would be helpful to a lot of people? 
Absolutely. So when it comes to saving, the number one thing you can do, if that's your goal for 2022, and again, with inflation, we're all looking to save a little bit more, um, it's automation. Automation is the key. So whether you're going to set up an automatic transfer from your account to a designated savings account or an emergency fund, or utilize some of the really well-known uh, and well-established apps out there for savings, that's a great way to do it too. Apps like Acorns will round up your transfer transactions and deposit the extra funds into an investment account. Another one called Capital allows you to um, collectively with friends and family save for a goal. So there's lots of opportunities to put a little more savings away. In the year. Such great advice that we can all benefit from. Thank you so much for joining us. Ashley Robinson from First Florida Credit Union.